Hey everybody and welcome to Moment a Minute. I'm Mo O'Brien. Thanks for deciding to spend some time with me this week. I want to tell you about some things that happened last week that were really extraordinary. One was I had the honor of speaking at the National Electrical Contractors Association or NECA's convention. The entire convention was online and so it's always tough to know how many people will be joining. But David Long, the CEO of NECA, let his employees know that if they were able to get 5,000 people at least to register for the convention and attend the convention, NECA would match that as a dollar a piece to the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. Well, they did get over 5,000 attendees. David also offered and challenged that if they were able to do this, he would dye his hair pink. Again, they met the challenge and so did David. So I will tell you that that just lifted my heart to see this big man with pink hair acknowledging Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know, I wear these boots every single day in October both as a prayer for the people that we have lost and a prayer in hopes for those who have just gotten a diagnosis or those who are going through treatment. Please have those that you love and yourself get a mammogram. I know that it can be really scary in COVID, but it's really important to get these tests done. The other thing that was really extraordinary that I want to share with you is a business associate of ours passed away. Uh, she died of pancreatic cancer and I was shocked by that. I learned that she got the diagnosis 13 months ago, but that she and her family had decided that they wanted to keep it quiet. And when she died and when I learned of her death, I was absolutely devastated. So I reached out to her husband and he sent me an email back and told me the story that she had learned 13 months ago that she had pancreatic cancer. And that began the best and the worst year of their lives, both for he, for his wife, and for their two boys. He also ended this email with something that was so extraordinary. I, I just, I can hardly get my brain around it. He, his last three words in the email to me were bring more joy. Can you imagine after having a loss like that to be encouraging others to bring more joy. Well, that's absolutely, I'm going to commit to that this week and beyond. And my question for you is, how will you bring more joy? In the meantime, be well and stay well.